Hello friends, today we are going to see the inequality questions which are very common in RBI grade B phase 1 examination. So let us see uh, the 5 various type of questions in this video. So first uh, we will try to understand what is the question and then we will solve step by step. So what is given 5 men and 5 women are to be arranged in a row while seating in a party. So there are 5 men and 5 women. So the first quantity is the number of ways arranging 5 men and 5 women such that no two men or women are adjacent to each other. It means that suppose uh, we will see how they can be arranged. Suppose women we can arrange in this way 4 and 5. So uh, there are two possibilities. Hmm? So we can arrange 5 men in these places or W2, W3, W4, W5 or in these 5 places. So, the 5 women can be arranged in this 5 pos position in 5 factorial ways and there are 5 positions for men. So, men can also be arranged in 5 factorial ways. So, this is one way and this is another. So, here also suppose in this position we have arranged in these 5 places and here in these 5 places. So, this is different arrangement and this is different arrangement. So, in this way also the 5 women can be arranged in 5 factorial ways and 5 men can be 5 factorial ways. So, this plus this is 2 into 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So, the answer of this quantity 1 is 2 into 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So, now let us calculate the quantity 2. So, what they have given in quantity 2? The number of ways arranging 5 men and 5 women in such a that all men sit together. It means that we can consider a position 5 position for women as W1, W2, W3, W4 and W5 and let us consider this box and all men we will arrange in this box only. So why box? Because we have to keep them at same place. Same place means they will sit together. So, so these we have now 6 positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, now these are let us consider this box as only single position. So, now these 6 persons or these 6 uh, 5 women and 1 man can be arranged in 6 factorial ways and inside this box we have to arrange 5 men in 5 factorial ways. So, these are 6 position, 6 factorial ways and 5 men in this box into 5 factorial ways. So, it is equal to 6 into 5 factorial into 5 factorial because you know that 6 factorial means 6 into 5 factorial. So, the quantity 2 is 6 into 5 factorial into 5 factorial. It means that quantity 1 is less than quantity 2. That is why answer is second. Quantity 1 is less than quantity 2. So, you can see this video or this explanation once again you will understand. So, you have to read the question very carefully and have to understand what type of condition they have given. This is the first question. Now, we will go to second. So, what they have given? Yes, uh, there are two quantities. First quantity is the value of A if S is an acute angle. So, we can draw one line here. Uh, we can draw one line here. Now, we know that this angle for example, you can consider S1 and S2. So, S1 is equal to A plus 40. Uh, these are called as alternate angles. Uh. If suppose these lines are parallel, then S1 is equal to A plus 40, S2 is equal to A. Now, what they have given S, this S is equal to 
s1 plus s2 means 2a plus 40 what they have given they have given that s is an acute angle acute angle means the value of s is less than 90 so value of s is means this value is less than 90 it means that 2a is less than 50 a is less than 25 and quantity 2 is 25 it means that quantity 1 is less than 25 so our answer is 1 because first quantity is less than 25 and second quantity is 25 so you should know these rules huh? these called as alternate angles these angles are same and if these two lines are parallel then these two angles are same and these two angles are same so let us go to third question there are 63 cards in a box numbered 1 to 63 every card is numbered with only one number so there are cards and 1 to 63 is written on the cards the probability of picking up a card whose digits if interchange result in a number which is 36 more than that of a number picked up so suppose if we have picked a number that is xy and the value of xy is equal to 10x plus y we know that this is 10th place and this is unit place so now what they have given if we interchange means suppose we if you write yx then its value is 10y plus x and this 10y plus x is 36 more than the original number so it is 10x plus y plus 36 so it means that this is 36 so 10y minus y is 9y minus 9x is equal to 36 y minus x is equal to 4 so y is our unit place so it means that y is greater number or y is la greater than x the difference is 4 it means that we can write as 15 then 26 then 35 then 37 48 and 59 why we have written because we know that the difference between these two num digits is 4 so that's why the probability is 5 by 63 why 5 by 63 because there are total 63 numbers but only 5 numbers are fulfilling our condition what condition this condition so the quantity one's answer is 5 by 36 now we will calculate quantity 2 the probability that probability of picking up a card the number printed on which is multiple of 8 but not 16 so we have to write the table of 8 but that number should not be multiple of 16 so we have to exclude the numbers which are multiple of 16 so 8 then 24 then 40 56 yes so these are the only four numbers which are divisible by 8 but not divisible by 16 so answer is 4 by 63 so the answer of this quantity 2 is 4 by 63 it means that quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2 so you have to read and understand the condition given in the question so here we have to interchange so after interchange this number is 36 greater hmm? this number is 36 greater than the original number so answer is quantity 1 5 by 63 is greater than 4 by 63 the area of quadrilateral bfde bfde so 
we have to find the area of this quadrilateral ABCD is rectangle AB is 10 means this side is 10 this is also 10 BC is 12 BC is 12 this is given as 5 means it is 7 this is 6 this is 7 because this is 12 because this is rectangle so area of this small triangle is half base into it is that is 30 here it is 25 overall rectangle means 12 into 10 is equal to 120 and 120 minus 55 is 65 so the area of quadrilateral is 65 means quantity 1 is 65 quantity 2 is 15 it means that quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2 so answer is 1 so this is the last question of inequality so what they have given here it is uh, abc entered into a partnership a invested rupees 3000 so for simplicity we can take as a 30 this is a b and c we will take this is 30 30 b invested 33.33 percent more than a so 33 more than a means it is 10 30 30 plus 10 is 40 so b invested 40 and c invested average of the investment made by 8 in donoka average so average of a and b that is 35 and this amount was invested for how many months four months so we will multiply all these amounts by 4 huh? I am writing a dot so now for next period what they have given a withdrew 40 percent amount so 40 percent withdrawal means 12 so remaining amount is 18 b doubled his investment b double means the amount is now 80 huh? he doubled investment and c increases the amount by 20 percent so 20 percent of 35 is 7 so this is 42 and this amount is invested for a how much period that is 5 months so we will increase uh, multiply this amount by 5 months why we are multiplying because we know that profit is divided in what proportion the amount invested into time period so now what uh, they have done in next period so another uh, b got away so after five months so this is initial four months this are five five months after that so now after five months b got away from the partnership so now b's investment is zero a double his investment so a double means it is 36 and now it should be for year it means four plus five is nine so remaining three months are there remaining months are three this is five and C maintained his investment. So C maintained means it is 42 into 3. So now we have to multiply all these amounts and we have to add. So this is 120 plus 90 plus 108. So this amount is 318. So now this is 120 plus 400. 160 so this is 160 plus 400 is 560 and this is 140 then this is 210 and this is uh, 120 plus 6 126 so this amount is 476 so we have to divide the overall profit in this ratio now let us see what they have asked the profit earned by c so profit earned by c is this much and average profit earned by a b c so if if you see these three amounts and if you find the average then it will be definitely less than this amount so in this case we can directly say that the quantity one that is 476 so this quantity is not required because what we have to find we have to find the share of c and average share of all the three so that's why you can find the average so the quantity one is more than quantity two so how to find suppose this is 476 average means equal distribution 
सो इफ यू कीप दिस एज अ फोर सेवेंटी सिक्स देन वॉट यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम दिस इज लाइक सपोज एटी सेवेंटी सिक्स मीन्स फोर्टीन एटी सिक्स यू कैन शिफ्ट एटी सिक्स हियर एटी फोर सो इट विल बिकम फोर देन जीरो फाइव जीरो फोर so ultimately suppose if you or add all these things means this plus this plus this and divided by 3 then you will get 451 hmm? so it is less than this amount so that's why this quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2 hmm? so now every year they are asking uh, this type of question you can call it as a inequality type of question and this is the type of question in this type they can ask all the topics like from ratio and proportion from probability from geometry from uh, all other topics so you should practice all these things and you have to do calculation very accurately thank you